from windy and yeah. cold yeah. Southern California. It's the Suzanne Summers Show, and here she is. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. I did this, um, hi everybody. I did this podcast. I do a lot of podcasts. You're probably hearing them in this woman. They all ask us about our sex life. And you know, the only reason I talk about our sex life is so that you can understand that with hormone replacement, which is what I write about in my books, that the sex drive comes back. And a healthy person is a sexual person, blah, blah. Probably drives my son nuts. Anyway, um, this girl said, well, what about today? And I said, and I didn't mention that, well, it, it was probably a Wednesday show, because on Tuesday I give Alan his testosterone shot, so he's kind of rare to go on Wednesdays. And uh, she said, what about today? And I said, well, there's that 4 o'clock in the morning thing. And then when I wake up, it's 8 o'clock. <laughs> and then he was in the mood again at, before, at 8.30, and I said to him, can you just wait till the sun comes up? And I just thought it was all a big joke. Well, it's all over the place anyway, so forgive, forgive me. Hi, Caroline. Oh my God! Oh my God! I've, I've received many texts. Have you? Many texts. Oh my God! Thanks to articles. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I do. I do. You're a vital, healthy woman. Yeah. You have a vital, healthy husband. A vital and healthy, and he's on hormones. Um, uh, so, so don't be mad at me, all of you out there. It's just it comes out of me, and I'm filling time with blah, blah, blah. So hi. <laughs> <laughs> and he's smiling. He's he's. Oops. Where where? Where's my white thing? Do you see my white thing? Oh, here we go again. Okay. All right, Rusty. That's, if you're watching, we got to do the mic thing. Okay. That's number one. No, but I picked it up myself. So. Okay. Um, but you dropped I, it. I dropped it, and so I deserve to pick it up myself. See the way it's in my ear? Yeah. Yeah. Put it in like that. Like Screw this. Put it in. Are you sure this is the right? Yeah, yeah, left side. Like the, the oh, does the thing go up? No, it goes like this, see, down? Oh. See that here? Yeah. You oh, know, you just have big ears. <laughs> you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's Chrissy Snow time. I know, and other times it's Einstein. Yeah. With it's, blonde hair. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I'm cooking today. Uh, I said to Caroline, I said, um, what are you making? I'm making chicken piccata. I love chicken piccata. We all piccata. should know how to make a great chicken piccata. Everybody loves it. Everybody. Everybody. And it's so easy. But if you don't do it right, it has no, as I always say, balls. you got to know about what's on the bottom of the pan and how long to cook it. So I'm going to give you a, cu a couple of tips on making chicken piccata. And then you can then figure out your own version of what you want to do. But it's, it's really fun. But anyway, today, I tell them what you got, Johnny, Alan. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, we've got a, a sale. The nice thing about you coming to our shows is we're able to give you the advantage of, you know, our discounts and our deals. You want me to hold it up while you do that? I can I can do this. I was almost a prize model. Okay. Remember? I didn't, almost. Almost. I lost the job. That was my first job with Alan Hamill. And okay. um, I didn't do well. Well, you did okay. Well, I went home with the host. That's right. Well, after you, they, after you found my phone number. <laughs> so here's me when I was the prize model, the day that I met Alan Hamill, who was the host of the anniversary game, a show that he owned with Dick Clark. And um, he needed a studio space. They couldn't find it in L.A. So Alan said, I'll go to San Francisco and take the KGO studio and do it. And then he and I walk. So here's my job. If, if, if you've won the prize, either one of these cameras here. I'm supposed to say, and here's the refrigerator that you want. I don't say it, I just point to it like Vanna White. But here's what I did. <laughs> and then I see people doing this and I went. I didn't know, see, the right camera has a little red light on it in a TV studio, but I didn't know, I'd never been in a TV studio before, so uh, that was, that way, I actually really was Chrissy Snow. I wish I could get that piece of, of video. And the only other red light you saw before that was the day you were offered a job. I don't know what you mean. Is that a joke? It's a joke, yeah. Oh, was that a booker joke? That's a hooker uh -huh. joke. Yeah. yeah. Nope, not me. I'm a good girl. I always was a good girl. 
until I start talking about sex with you. You're an animal. Well, that makes you a very good girl. Well, you don't have to make you bad. No, you're my husband. That's right. And I love you. And I, know. I tell everybody all the time how much I, know. I love you. And I love you. And I've got on my Leslie Hamill jeans. Are these the coolest jeans that she did for me? So cute. Aren't they cute? Wow. Is there anything on the back? No, I don't think there's anything on the back. Yeah, I'll put at the top in the back. Oh, Pull up your sweater. There you go. Okay. Hang on. Now move over a little bit. Uh -huh. No, no, the other, the other, the other bits. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Wow, they're so cool. Aren't yeah. they cute? You know what's interesting about Leslie? She put every jewel on by hand. She, the, she's just into. I have a chair in the dining room that she jeweled the whole chair. It's just, it's such a work of art. It should be in an art gallery. It's so beautiful. She's so talented. I think it took her weeks to do that oh, chair. Oh gosh, yeah. She actually has, I think, six or eight of them yeah. now. I told her she should now do a table, right? a jewel table, and then put all the jewel tables around it and put it in an art gallery. And I, I said, there are people who will pay a lot of money for that, a lot, yeah. and it should. Yeah. Because each jewel has been put on by hand. So anyway, so we have today, oh, here's your, here's yours, here, Al. Oh, thank you. I mean, it's really just a cooking show. I threw a sale in there because, you yeah. know, why not? Yeah, yeah, right. Have a little body lotion. Yeah. Little body lotion care. Body lotion, but we really just to see you cook tonight. And the promo okay. code is body25. Body25. By the way, this is shaving gel, you know, organic, certified toxic free shaving gel. So, um, I, one of the most, there were a lot of things that shocked me about the Grammys this year was the other one. The ad for the razor blade with the woman shaving her, you know what? And I thought at really? least you should be using our shaving gel so you don't get like rash or something. There was like a that. woman shaving her. Yeah, didn't you? Oh no, you slept through it. Wow. I don't get shocked easily. I was shocked. I was shocked. All right. <laughs> I want to turn on my pan and get this. I'm hot. sorry, you I want, missed that. Huh? You want your pan hot? <laughs> what? Yeah. Did you just see it? They say it three times before me. It, it's, it's going to be all over. I'm just telling you around. It's going to be all over. Me and, it's all over. Me and, all over. Me and my big mouth. One day. One day. Okay. All right. Um, shut up. See how nice and flat this is chicken breast cut. <laughs> how would you like to have me for a mother in law? It's okay. Yes. Yeah, humiliate me. You would be very, very lucky. Very lucky. All right. This woman is a gentured servant. I feel to serve was... her. Whatever she needs me to do, I do. I never say no. I always say yes. Okay? okay. And that's the real secret to our marriage. Did you say yes? Did I say yes? Oh, you do. question is, yes. Okay, did you see what I just did? Yeah, I just washed my hands. Um, I wonder where my Suzanne's, oh, I've got my Suzanne Summer soap right here. Can you open that up? Sure. Um, uh, you take your chicken, cotton chicken, and then you, yeah, let me just wash it. I'm going to have to keep it out because I'm going to have to keep touching this. Okay. You know? Okay. Now, I'm going to do this a piece at a time. Salt. All right. I have a, a, a platter of flour. That's important because that's how you're going to get your, excuse me, balls on the bottom of the pan. Is that gluten-free flour? Uh, no, it's not. I'm sorry. So there was absolutely no consideration for me. No, not at all. Okay, I just, I not just at all. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put a little olive oil. I love olive oil. Okay. See? That I need like. All right. This is. You want to cook this hot and fast. All right. Cover the bottom of the pan. You can hot see. You can see. Now it's gonna sizzle. And while that's happening, I'm going to do this one. Same thing. Just drench it in the flour. Take 
Okay, I'll start to wash my hands. Can you salt and pepper this? Certainly. And then pepper the um, this side. That's so beautifully pounded too. Isn't it? And that's important. Make yeah. sure with your butcher. Yeah, that's and, the, the, the width of that is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's really important. This is, you just want to brown this on each side and then the pepper on both of them. That, this is a better pepper, but I don't know that that would never work so well. Yeah. As soon as it starts getting like brown bits inside. You know, I think they make pepper grinders. It's a break. It's a break. Yeah. Just to stop working. With Alpet and our lifetime, we've had 25 or 35. And every once in a while, we have a really great one. Yeah. But they never last very long. So what's in the restaurant? Yeah. Okay, that's enough. All right, now. All right. Okay. That's the magic. That's the magic. Okay. All right. Wow. Yes. Okay. All right. Now I want to add just a little, just a little bit of butter. Okay. And now I'm going to add this stock. See, I know it's great stock. See how thick it is. Wow. Yeah. That's gonna be good. Wow. She always poured out what was on the bottom of the pan, and I would just sit there and go, why are you doing that? That's where all the magic is. Now I'm going to add this much, as this two cloves of garlic minced, okay? I'm just going to throw that in there. Because it's Italian, you know? Okay. All right, now. Oh, you can't, 
imagine. I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Not too much, because it can get too lemony. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna add the second pat of butter, because it's a butter uh, wine reduction sauce. And now what I'm gonna do is put the cutlets back in and let them cook in there for a while. Okay, how can that not be great, huh? Looks amazing. Yeah, it's going to be great. All right. Mm -hmm. I started thinking about your dinner. It's midnight, but... Uh, <laughs> That's right. I've been eating like such a pig. I mean, literally such a pig that I, oh. I said to Bruce, I said, we have to just eat vegetables today. Um, no, not in Italy. You should eat... You're making chicken pecans. <laughs> <It's so laughs> I'm really hungry. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Wow. I was wishing I was in Palm Springs. That this smell is incredible. <laughs> right. You know, now I'm going to throw some capers in, right? So that's, add, that's another little. So I've got garlic and capers. And then I'm going to throw in some lemon zest, right? And it's great when you're making chicken piccata that you get this all pre cooked, pre uh, set like this, so that you just. How can this not be good? It's going to be so good. And then spoon it over. Just keep spooning it over. Now, if you want... I'm really concerned about your white sweater. I know. I should have worn an apron, but I look so cute. You do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I haven't spilled anything, have I? No. It hasn't even splattered on me. No. Because I've got the, the heat pretty low. No. See, now, if you notice, this isn't a ton of sauce, because I'd rather it be richer and... Um, now I'm going to turn it way down and just let it settle around here a little bit. Oh, it's going to be so good. Well, right. Maisie Boutique said, I am pounding my chicken now. Okay, good, good. Yeah, I like to just keep drenching the chicken with this. Look at that sauce. I mean... So Ann Youngman wants us to post the recipe. Are we posting the recipe, Caroline? The other thing I often do, like, like I said at the beginning, is uh, uh, lemon slices, but it's not necessary. It's just pretty. And it, I mean, it's not going to... Look at that. If you went to a restaurant, this is what you'd hope you'd get, and it's rarely this refined. It's not about making a ton of sauce. It's making sauce that's rich and delicious and beautiful, and frankly, this is... Done. You want to taste some, Al? I sure would. Yeah. Okay. That's a little minced parsley. Look at that. Mm. So yummy. So how, it, how long it, did that take me? That took me 15 minutes. Amy Chisholm yeah. said, I just told my husband he's nothing like Al. And her husband said, well, you ain't nothing like Suzanne. <laughs> 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 and do not believe the three times a day thing, Amy. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, it was just once. <laughs> it was so, your idea. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I think you do said you something like, or let's hit one out of the park. Pardon? Yeah. Hmm. You know, I'll come over and have a bite over there. Come over and have a bite over here. I think you're going to like it, Al. I can tell you're going to like it. Bring a knife and fork. Mm. Okay. Wow, look at that. I know. the greatest setup in, my, in our new kitchen. We're going to plan it right Look at the color of that sauce. 
Thomas. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Those things never work out. I have to say, Ever. I, think, I think that sauce is perfect, don't you? It's perfect. And did you see how easy it was? The reason it's perfect is what was on the bottom. Cooking down the wine, then adding in the little bit of broth and these, uh, the, the garlic, the um, parsley, and the... And, oh, and the capers. Oh my gosh, I'm proud of this. Alan's over in the corner there eating. Yeah. Alan, Alan sounds like he's cleaning out the utility closet behind the, behind the camera. I know, but actually it's just his knife and fork. Come sit over here, Alan. I'll put the camera on you. Sit over here and eat it. Okay. Okay? No, I'm all right. Yeah? Yeah? Mm. It is pretty great. I'll have one little piece. Because why not? It's dinner before dinner. Yeah. yeah. I'll just have a little piece. We have a... Um, Sometimes a nice little piece is just right. And then we have one for later. Mm. Well, the, one, the recipe that's in the Sexy Forever recipe Bible um, is the one you made with ground chicken patties. Yeah. But the sauce is basically the same. The so same. you saw that Suzanne that had a pounded chicken breast on this one. She just brushed it in a little flour with salt and pepper. Um, mm. And otherwise, the recipe will be the same. Right. Let's see if this one is good too. How oh, the capers make it? And of course, on your yellow plate, mm. it just looks like summer in the south of France. Mm. Mm. Wow. It's perfect. <clears throat> it's really perfect. Wow. Wow. Mm. And she loves watching us eat. Mm. Not even drinking tonight. Right to dinner. Um, and while you're still in Italy, Caroline, just eat. Oh, are you kidding? I am eating. No. Mm. I am eating. We are eating everything. Mm. But you know, you do. You walk so much here. Mm -hmm. we, we walk 10,000, 15,000, sometimes 20,000 steps a day. Yeah, Bruce said he walked 12 miles yesterday. Yes. Yeah, 12 miles. That's awesome. Yeah, but Violet and I didn't go. Once we finished with the hike um, up to Fiesole, which was so beautiful, um, we took a cab back, and I said, you know, if you want to walk back, because, you know, Bruce, he yeah, had his big backpack, like, yeah. we were going into the wilderness for 14 days. Right. Um, <laughs> sweet, he carried my coat when I got warm. Wow. So he, he walked back, um, but <laughs> we are did. eating, we are enjoying, well, are we enjoying the food. So Linda yeah. Zielinski says it's page 219 in the Sexy Forever oh, Recipe thank you, Bible. Linda. Thank you. Yeah, that's the one, the one with the ground chicken. Mm. Wasn't there a Zielinski? No, that was Lipinski, who was a champion skater, right? Mm. No, not in the me. Olympics? Oh, oh, Christine said there is one that says boneless, skinless breast. It may be... Um, Suzanne had a lot of recipes that were sort of that hot and fast sauteed chicken breast with different kinds of uh, reduction sauces. But it's kind of my style. I I just yeah. All my, all my cooking life, I've always looked at what's on the bottom of the pan of hmm, what could I do with that? And the colors. You don't want to burn the bottom of your pan. The moment you burn it, you've ruined any possibility of a good sauce. You got it. That's why I said when you do the the uh, cutlets. It's just getting a little brown on both sides. That's not about cooking. The cooking is when it sits in the sauce like this. But this is really good. Anyway. Okay, so Kim McCarthy Georgios said, I want to try Gut Renew. I need to ask if you start the cleanse with the supplements or the drink. Mm. Caroline. supplements to go with it, which is how you really get the transformation of the gut. So we have a pre 
probiotic. Um, we have the gentle colon renew, which helps with elimination. Um, and Suzanne has digestive enzymes that are really important if you're not making enough digestive enzymes. It can be a little help breaking down the food. And she also has the betaine HCL with pepsin, which um, again is important if you're not making enough stomach acid because it tends to slow down as we age. And that again helps break down your food. So it just makes your whole system work better. Um, and if you can swing it with the supplements, that's the best way, but at least get the gut renew for the month. I can't get over Gut Renew. And, and that story I told last night about Julie's mother be, waiting at the elevator and at the hospital where she works and the doctor or the... I know, incredible. Incredible. Just incredible. Well, so that's all it takes to do this chicken piccata. This is, this is a fat... What? What'd she say? Your chicken piccata recipe. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it's already on the website. Okay. So, right. um, well, I know this is a really quick really show tonight, it. but um, that's our show. I wanted to make you chicken piccata. I actually thought it, thought it took a little longer than it does, but it doesn't. It's, it's a it's a 15-minute dish if you have it all pre-set. The lemon juice squeezed, the, the parsley minced, the... The, the garlic mince to have your capers out and drained and uh, stock. One day I want to show you the stock because the reason I roast a chicken every week is three reasons. One, to have a roast chicken dinner once a week. It's so good. It's one of the best dinners ever. The, the sauce that you can make from a roast chicken dinner is amazing. Then with whatever's left over, the next day I cut it all off the bones and I make chicken salad because chicken salad is so wonderful and it's a great you know, you put celery, really finely minced celery and finely minced green onion and good quality mayonnaise or homemade mayonnaise, but a good quality mayonnaise from a jar is good. A splash or two of red wine vinegar, salt and pepper, and with the chopped chicken, it's really good. But then, the most important thing is I take all the bones from the roast chicken, put it in my biggest stock pot here, go into my crisper, all week long, I, I collect anything that you normally would throw in the garbage, the tops of the leeks and the, uh, the, the tops of the celery and carrots and all those things. Anything I find in there, mushrooms, I take a whole yellow onion, cut it in half and put it in there. And I cook that covered in water for four or five hours and then let it cool off and then drain it and then put it in the refrigerator and when, if it, if it thickens like that and gets gelatinous, you've made the perfect amount of broth. How does that happen? That happens by not putting too much water in the pot. Right. If you feel, you know, if you get your biggest stock pot like that filled with water, you'll have lousy, tasteless, tasteless. But my stock pot, I put about that much water in it with all the vegetables and the bones. The bones are most important. I uh, ordered a chicken from the butcher for uh, uh, Thursday night. And I had him uh, cut it, cut the backbone out so that the chicken is going to be lying in the pan like that. I keep that backbone because that's even raw. Then you throw that in there too, and that adds to your stock. So stock is just something. When I lived in the south of France all those summers, this is what the peasant housewives did, and their food is so great. And the reason their food is so great is because of the stock that they use for soup and for sauces. And when Caroline was giving me that nice compliment a while ago, I thought it is true. There's there's chicken soup, and then there's chicken soup made when you reduce the stock like that. So if that doesn't make sense to you, I'll do a tutorial on that sometime. And um, it's really fun to teach you the stuff I know. One of the things at 74 now is there's a lot of stuff that I know. I know about uh, how the body works, the organics. I know why it's so important for the organics. I know how to make great sauce. What else do you need to know? So. Well, Dar Darlene Dawn said, I threw my scale out years ago, and when I did gut renew, I lost inches. I have not worn my jeans in years, and they are loose. It felt great being able to wear them again. Again, I agree, you lose inches. I think so, you did. I, yeah, I I don't know if I did or not because I'm I'm thin right now, but you know I had that surgery where I lost some weight, but I I actually put on 25 pounds, so 
I'm probably at my regular weight now. I really like the way I look right now. So, so we have we have a woman. Mm -hmm. uh, her name is. Let me look at. It. Oh yeah, Eileen Galella Athanas. Uh -huh. she, she mentioned she's watching. Watching. Okay. Hi, Eileen. Ron Galella. Oh okay. yeah. Ron Galella was the original oh, yeah. paparazzi. Mm -hmm. He was there years before all the rest of them were there. He was there because they weren't, the reason there are a lot of paparazzi today is because there's so many digital cameras that you can buy for nothing, right. plus your iPhone. So they're there to grab shots and video, etc. Ron Galella was the original guy. Yeah. yeah. And he's a really nice man. And when our house burned down in Malibu, he had sent Suzanne over 300 pictures he had taken of her in Over during the years. time he was a paparazzi. But there's a little bit of a backstory to it. He um, came to fame because he uh, probably harassed Jacqueline Kennedy everywhere. Jacqueline Kennedy. That's right. He followed her everywhere, and I think she got tried to get a restraining order. When I uh, anyway, huh? I just wanted to mention yeah. that story about Ron Galella. Well, I'm going to continue it. What you oh, started. Okay. So when I first became famous. Um, I understood the value of the paparazzi and everybody I was working with this, oh, I hate the paparazzi. I thought, we feed each other. Without them, you all don't know anything about me. And without me, they don't have anything to sell. So I decided uh, from early on to learn as many of the paparazzi, the, the ones who were, you know, not obnoxious, learn their names. So I used to say, hey, Ron, how are you doing? So that, right, Alan's right, when the house burned down, he called me, he said, I, uh, I'm going to send you every picture I've ever taken of you. But at that point, I had no pictures. It was, it was just such a beautiful thing. And he's still alive, and he's a great guy. And he's now put out uh, three volume books, and I'm in all three of them, I think. And he took great pictures. He saw, he saw, he saw great the, eye. the story. Yeah, yeah. So. And don't forget, guys, um, Suzanne's. shaving gel. You know, he does. I, I, I haven't had time this year to go get my legs waxed, so when I'm in the shower, I shave them. I don't, my legs come, from years of waxing my legs, they're not very hairy anymore. And when I was a girl, my legs were so hairy, I was mortified. You could comb it. <laughs> really? At least it was blonde. At least it was blonde, but I don't really have any hair on my legs anymore. But when I do shave my legs, I use the shaving gel. It makes a difference. The razor slides... Uh, and glides more easily and more beautifully. And again, it's certified toxic free. And you're going near private areas, so it's important. And, and for our French audience, gel de <laughs> rassage. <laughs> Orange sauvage. For those of you who are asking about the probiotics, the, the company that makes our probiotics, the whole industry, Orange Sauvage, is the company that makes the I know. Um, so we're excited to to bring that to you next week. Um, sorry about ours being out of stock. It'll be back in stock in May. So we're bringing in another brand that you can use until ours comes back. And it's not just our company that it ran low on probiotics. They're just hard to get with the pandemic. It's Everybody. Hard to get right now. <clears throat> this is like um, Asia and Serum in a Mist, this body spray. And those of you who love the Age of Serum, this is, this is it in mist form. Here's the body wash, wild orange vanilla flavor mm -hmm. in wow. Francais, gel douche. Really? You're so Canadian. Douche. This chicken piccata is going to rock your world. 
Here's what I suggest. There's a pasta, and I know, for summer sizers, pasta and, and protein, no? There's a pasta called Andean Dream, and it's quinoa pasta. I serve it all the time because he's gluten intolerant. But it's just delicious, so what you can do is cook the pasta in another pot, and then after you take your chicken out, whatever sauce is left over, smoosh your pasta around in that sauce. You've wasted nothing. Mm. And you get chicken piccata with the lemon caper sauce, and you get the uh, pasta, and it's kind of great. That's cooking. Well, well we caused a, a ruckus over at the uh, Mercado Centrale today, getting your truffles. <laughs> yeah, Bruce wrote me how exciting. God, we're excited to get that. Yeah, very exciting. Suzanne and Alan ordered a, a large order of truffles, enough to get the market very excited. Wow, wow. Well, Bruce and Caroline have been talking about all these great meals, and that's why I said to her last time, get me some. So um, they're going to come, you said, by Friday, along with some great cheeses. So I'm very excited. Anyway, that's our show. And um, when do we see you next Monday, right, Caroline? Yes, um, Suzanne and Alan are not going to be having cocktail hour on Friday um, because they have a, a family function. Right. Um, so there's no show on Friday, but we'll be back on Monday. Yeah, we'll see you Monday. And uh, I always love that you all come. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make chicken piccata, if you didn't already know, and the few tips I've picked up over the years. And um, I'm just a cook, and I love it. And I love you, and I love you, Caroline. I love you too. You guys right. have a fun night. I will. Good night, everybody. <laughs>